So here's our demo app. It's just basically a small node app that connects to our Salesforce org. It's going to give you a list of 10 accounts. You can select an account and view its details. And then there's a little form here where you can edit the record. And there's also one where you can create a record. I'll show you that when we get the new app bug. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go install the Heroku tool belt. Now what that's going to do for you, it's going to give you a couple things. It's going to give you the Heroku command line client. It's going to give you Git, which is what you'll use for version control and to push your code to Heroku. And then Foreman for running your apps locally. Now go ahead and install that first. It shows you how down here, how to log in and everything like that. And so you want to install it, log in. And then next thing you're going to do is we're going to go over here to this getting started. And this getting started page has a lot of great information on depending on what type of app you want to install. We're going to start with a Node app. And it's going to walk you through all the steps of set up a node app. We're going to kind of do an abridged version of this. So it's not exactly exactly what we're do, doing here. Um, but if you have to come back and look at for more details, this is the place where you want to go. You want to go to this right here. All right. So when you're writing apps that live on Heroku, you have to give it access into Salesforce. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a connected app in Salesforce. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to search for apps. Find my create apps here. I'm going to give it a name. Oh, I'm going to scroll down here also, sorry. And I'm going to create a new connected app. And I'm going to call this uh, demo. And I'm going to paste my email address in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the OAuth settings for this. And we're going to give it a callback. And we're going to use that because it's sometime in the future we want to do some development work. We can use this as a, as a local host. And then I'm going to give it full access. You want to look and see what type of access you want to give this app. In this case, it's going to be full access. And then I'm going to hit save. That's going to connect our, our connected app. And it's going to take a couple minutes for it to propagate through the interweb. So I'm going to go ahead and hit pause here and wait for it to come back online. Okay. All right. We should be all set here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually install this application. So here's the GitHub repo with the sample code. The app I just showed you a second ago. Now, there's two ways to get this application up and running. One is to clone this repo locally to your computer and run it on your laptop or your computer locally. The other way is to use the play to Heroku button right here and actually deploy the code from this GitHub repo over to Heroku automatically. It's super simple and super fast. That's the way we're going to go first. And I'll, I'll actually clone the repo afterwards and we'll bring it down and actually make a change and push it back up to Heroku. Super simple to get started with Heroku. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this button right here. It's going to make sure, make sure you're lo logged into Heroku. It's going to actually load up your Heroku dashboard with information for this app. All right, so it tells me about the information of the app, where I'm coming from. It's got a name, so I'm going to go A, B, C. Just make it easy to find. Oh, not available. Let's try it again. Um, someone's already got that. All right, that's available. All right, so I'm going to have my username. Now, this is going to be my Salesforce username, my Salesforce password with a security token on there with no spaces can be my consumer key and my consumer secret. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and type those in real quick. Okay, so there's my username and password. Now for your client ID and client secret, that's back in the connected app we just created. So I'm going to go to this connected app. I'm going to copy my consumer key right here. And add that to Heroku. I'm going to go ahead and delete these apps and my username and my password, by the way, when we're done with this. So don't worry about that. Uh, and then I'm going to get my secret right here paste that in and then what i'm gonna do is go ahead and hit the play button that's gonna actually spin up that app on heroku and get everything up and running for us so i hit deploy it's, it's run through the deployment process here let that run for a second well also that a couple other things here if you have any questions on how things work, the, the Heroku Dev Center is a great place to look at. There's a ton of great information in the De Dev Center that you can look at for different types of languages, about the add-ons, about how to use things, about uh, not only just Heroku, but Postgres also. There's a lot of great things you can learn on the, the Dev Center. All right, that should be up. I'm gonna go ahead and watch this for a second here. It's building the app. I'm going to pause up. Oh, there we go. All right. So we're all up and running here. So now we should go ahead and we can see the app should be running. Let's go ahead and spin this up. All right. So there's our app up and running. We can go ahead and get our list of 10 accounts. 
we can go ahead and look at these accounts again, same thing. And let's go ahead and create one real quick. Let's create a new account. So, just grab that real quick here. I hit the save button. It's gonna go ahead and create that new record in Salesforce. So now that that's there, I can grab this ID here. We can jump back into our Salesforce org. And we can actually see this app or this um, record we just created. That was just created a few seconds ago. So super simple, easy way to do that. So now what we want to do is I want to make a change to this app. So we've, we've actually taken that app from GitHub. We push it to Heroku. Now I want to modify that somehow. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back through here. Let's go get it. Let's go back and look at the apps I have. We're gonna find this app. Uh, here we go, ABC. And this app has, they have a couple things in here for this app. One thing I like to look at is the resources tab. So resources tells you how many node, how many um, dynos you have for this node app up and running. The more dynos, the more traffic you can have. You can kind of think of that as additional servers or load balance servers. Another thing is add-ons. We want to get some add-ons. So there's a ton of great add-ons that they have for Heroku. So I'm gonna go look at that real quick here. They have things from databases to caching to error handling, um, to logging. And one of my favorites is Paper Trail. I, I usually always add Paper Trail for free. And you can read about what this specific add-on will, will do for you. It gives you the command line here that you can use also. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scroll down here and you can select the different ones you want. I'm gonna choose the free one. And I'm gonna select my app. There's my app and I'm gonna add this. And it's gonna spin this add-on up and add that into my, my application. So now if I go back here to my apps, we'll see now I have my, my paper trail add-on here. And if you open that up, you can see it's fully provisioned and we may start getting some messages through pretty soon. There we go. So you can see there's already messages being logged from this, this application to paper trail and you can use this so you can set up alerts do all kinds of great things with paper trail you can also set up a database quickly too same thing if you need a, a NoSQL database you can set up mongodb in no time super slick there's also a second here look at your deploys you can see when you deployed your code you can use the heroku tool belt like we we're going to do in a second here you can actually connect this app to a github repo so whenever you push new code to your github repo it'll automatically deploy up to your sales for or this heroku app and you can do the same thing for dropbox connect your apps to Dropbox so those files in that Dropbox folder will get pushed up to this um, app on Heroku. They have some metrics you can look at also once your app starts running for a while you can look at metrics. You can see the activity for this app what you've done so if you have a larger team you can see who's doing what to certain apps and you can actually roll back to certain versions of your app if you have any kind of incidents. And then if you have other teammates you want to have participate in this be able to grab code push to it whatever you can add them for access up to this this app and then of course here's your, your settings <clears throat> and you can look at your config variables here and you can change them here if you'd like to as well and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually clone this we're gonna get this repo and we're gonna clone it here locally so now I want to make some changes to this app and push them back into Heroku so first thing I need to do is actually get this app so I'll do get put the repo in there it's gonna bring all that code down And then go, let's see, we've got the files are in here, so let's open this up. If Adam wants to open it up. There we go. So here's our files here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a small change to something. So then we'll show you how we're going to do this. So we'll do the views. We'll grab on this index page. We'll say... Uh, And we'll save that. So now we made a change, and now we got to commit this change back to our Git repo. So um, and now we do a Git push Heroku master. We're gonna we're gonna push the Heroku the the Heroku branch. We're gonna push the Heroku the master branch. Oh, let's see if I got in there. Oh, it's probably in the origin. Yeah. 
typically GitHub would be the origin repo and Heroku would be the, the, the repo for Heroku. So I'm going to grab all that in there, starts to play my code. All right, so there we go. So it got the proc type. It actually launched the app, and so now we can make a, take a take a look at what the changes are and see what's actually changed. So now, if I go back to this main page here, we've got our new code right there. So it's pretty simple to get an app up and running on Heroku. Heroku is not that scary. There's a, this is an, of course an easy way to actually grab some node code that connects to your app to Salesforce push it to Heroku, then bring that code down locally, make changes to it, and push it back out there. So the full development cycle. So hope that gets people over the over the hump of using Heroku. Again, it's not that scary. It's actually really cool, really powerful. The more you work with Heroku, the more the add-ons you're going to be able to use. Um, we find a ton of stuff that we don't have to rewrite because there's already existing add-ons for it. So don't be afraid to write, you know, tools, external apps, maybe customer-facing apps, all these kind of things on Heroku, and connect them to your Salesforce org.